Welcome to the stage now, Dr. Scott McCaffrey, Hawaii Medical Association President of the Please join me here at the lectern and raise your right hand. I swear that I will carry out. I swear that I swear that I will carry out the duties of my office. The duties of my office to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. I will strive. I will strive to maintain the ethics of the medical profession. To maintain the ethics of the medical profession and to promote the public's health and welfare. And to promote the public's health and welfare. I will dedicate myself and my office. I will dedicate myself and my office to the task of bringing increasingly improved medical care. To the task of bringing increasingly improved medical care to the people of Hawaii. To the people of Hawaii. I will uphold the Constitution and bylaws. I will uphold the Constitution and bylaws of the Hawaii Medical Association at all times. Of the Hawaii Medical Association at all times. Ladies and gentlemen, your president. Round of applause for a bunch of great volunteers up here, the past presidents of the Medical Association, uh, the countless hours that they've put in over the years. And how about a nice big round of applause for these, these public servants? special treat for you. Uh, we've, uh, there's a big problem here in Hawaii, the doctor's shortage, a growing problem, and there's an individual in the room that I'm going to ask to come up right now to the podium to introduce a, a film we have on that. Uh, this is Dr. Kelly Whitney, a professor at John Burns School of Medicine, who is uh, one of the, I call her sort of the Paul Revere of this problem. She identified it, studied it, and published on it. Many, uh, several years ago, and has had supplement, supplemental studies. So, would you please uh, put your hands together for Dr. Kelly Withy, who's going to come up and introduce this clip? I was so surprised and honored when uh, Dr. Scott wanted to share this special night with me in his limited time on the stage. Um, but in talking with him, I realized why we, we have a common interest, a common goal. We want to solve the physician workforce shortage in Hawaii. Now, if you've heard me speak before, I'm always yapping on about how we're 700 physicians short, 20% compared to the mainland. And of those working, about 20% or 65 were over this year. Um, so um, I understand um, why he wanted me to come up here and give you the bad news. Um, but you already knew all that. And so um, it's really wonderful talking with him because um, HMA is always supporting issues that are important to doctors. Malpractice reform, administrative simplification, loan repayment. Um, but Dr. Scott goes a step further even. Um, he and I generated an idea which is new, so I want you to tell him if you like it or not. Um, but we realize that a lot of you are thinking about maybe one day cutting back some on your practice. We want you to be happy practicing providers here, but you don't know who's going to take over your practice. And so we were brainstorming and we thought, what if we created a bridge to practice for our new physicians? And you saw some of them up here on the stage tonight. Um, what if we had a place for them to go to, to work while they're in medical school, residency, mentors like you, who then they can just walk right into practice with. And so this is one of the ideas that we're developing because Dr. Scott is, he wants to go outside the box. He go, wants to go one step further and he wants to do it right now. And so I'm so glad because when I'm speaking, I'm usually giving the doom and gloom. But you know what? He made a movie, so I don't even have to do that anymore because he put it all down in a movie. And you're gonna see a clip here today. There's a longer version available online and you'll get more information about it 
but I want to thank him for all he's doing and commit to all of you to make your life practicing in Hawaii as great as it can be, just like his commitment as well. So I'm very excited to introduce uh, our exodus. medicine in Hawaii is approaching apocalyptic. It's getting tougher and tougher for doctors to make a good living in Hawaii. We're over 700 physicians short and we'll be about 14 to 1600 doctors short by 2020. We have a shortage of the ability to care for people that is so profound right now. We haven't been able to recruit physicians in here to meet that need, bringing physicians in, training them, and then getting them to stay here once they're done. That's the, that's the big challenge. My young colleagues are choosing to go elsewhere. They're going out of private practice. They're deciding not to practice it within the, um, the state of Hawaii. We will be history. So if you see me here, think of me as Straub and Honolulu Medical Group as they were before. They had to close their doors. Still have this problem with reimbursement here. Yeah, everyone knows it. You know, uh, uh, graduates know it, uh, and sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes they know it before they graduate, other times they know it if they move here and try to practice here. As low as 48th out of 50 states in terms of reimbursement, and you know, we're probably first or second out of 50 states in terms of how expensive it is to live. You're seeing um, really the transition of medicine into a blue collar job. The old paradigm of Marcus Welby where we had the one kind, you know, caring physician that knew everything about you and took care of you from cradle to grave is, is kind of, a, it's disappearing. To remain in private practice, to go into private practice, Marcus Welby is dead.